know all the fellas out there got a girl that's really special to them. Yeah, I do too. Sometimes it's just not as easy as it seems. Uh, we started making the record a couple of years ago. Um, the other years we were just kind of like down. I had stepped off and started doing acting. I wanted to get serious with my acting and step away from the game a little bit, you know, and see which way it's going to go. So, you know, we took a hiatus and stuff. But I think right now is a perfect time for the music. You know, the political climate is right there. And, you know, people have heard a lot of other forms of the music and they're going to come back to enjoy what we do. I mean, it's another body count record. I mean, our records are usually a, a group of thoughts that are going through my mind at the time. And, uh, you know, it's just w rock the way I hear it. I was playing a video game called Hitman, and I just kind of got sprung off into this Hitman theory. So I wrote about the Hitman, you know, the the the, 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 the jack or a life. First thing you see is the flash, the last image, my mask, the last breath is your gas, the roar of the machine, the smell of burnt flesh. You know, it was just strictly Hitman stuff, and I just was, you know, I get caught up in little things, you know. But then when we did the album... We're trying to get a title. Murder for Hire was the one that was, had the most impact. So I turned that title over to a, uh artist friend of mine. I said, think about the United States government when we use Murder for Hire. So the cover had, is more connected to, the, like, say, a song like Endgame. You know? But people are trying to find a parallel, but I'm like, it's no real parallel. It's just two different... Oh, shit. I don't know. I have no fucking idea who would be a good president right now. We don't need any more fucking cowboys in there, you know? Or maybe Arnold Schwarzenegger. Fuck it. The Terminator. You would like him uh, as president? Yeah, just fuck it. If we're going to go gangster, let's just go all the way. Let's just put fucking Arnold in there. He just get pumped. Be like no one fucking with the United States. I'm like, your motherfucker be like, yo, that means might be scared. See, ain't nobody scared of Bush. So we need maybe Arnold and get him back on roids. So Arnold is president and Hillary is vice president. That would be dope. That would be dope. I think everybody be on the United States dick if we had Arnold Schwarzenegger as the president. Motherfuckers wouldn't try to push us around. Yeah, that's what we need. We need a president that looks like he can whoop your ass. Yeah. Uh, I think the American government might have known a lot more than they spoke about, but uh, they weren't prepared for that. And hey, you know, I mean, we do shit to countries all the time. We get off. I mean, homie got off on us, you know, and, you know, that's just how the game goes. And I mean, United States got to be prepared for a lot more terrorist attacks as long as we're fighting a war, you know. So, but the theory of it being a conspiracy made by the United States government, I don't see the angle. I don't see what the United States government had to benefit from doing it to ourselves. <sighs> to get America back on track, you got to stop spending so much money on war and uh, add it to more toward education and building the youth and, uh, you know, an economic base so that we can hold it together, kind of like what Japan did. You know, after we bombed Japan, they just cut their army off and put it all into into, into schools and intelligence. And now they pretty much own the world, you know, financially. So I think we got to spend a lot, a lot less money blowing people up and use it educating people. Finish this sentence with one word. George Bush is a... Idiot. <laughs> well, have a very nice concert tonight at uh, Paradiso Amsterdam. Okay, thank you. Thank you for the interview. I probably, that's probably the answer for everybody, gang. <laughs>